This is a plasma popper. It's a pretty cool toy that you can make by yourself, and today I'm gonna show you the process of making one of these, so you have an excuse to accidentally set your house on fire. If you want to build your own plasma popper or plasma gun, this is all you need. Money. Then, when you have those, you can buy the followings. A blue torch that works on propane or map gas, some pieces of wood or bars or whatever to keep it in place, transparent pipe. I bought two of these for a reason I'll explain you later. Zip ties, two thick plastic bottles, hot glue, a lot of that, and a lot of small things that can make your job easier, like, uh, like some tape and some other tools. And yeah, that's pretty much all you need. I thought I can show you directly the final product before I started building it, so you know what it looks like and you have a better understanding while I'm explaining the process, since I'm really bad at it. So yeah, here are some shots, and this is how it works. That being said, how to make it? So you have two plastic bags. At the bottom of one, you cut a big hole, that that's gonna be the fire hole. At the bottom of the other one, you cut a tiny one, the same dimension of the pipe, because the pipe needs to fit through that. Once you do that, the next step is to attach the bottles together. Here you can use some hot glue and just stick it together and uh, just keep using hot glue until it becomes solid. Next part is where you have to put the pipe around, around the bottles. And this was a very hard step to do. I mean, it's a pain, so one thing I recommend, if you can ask someone to help you, that's gonna be a lot easier. Also, you can do whatever you want, but in my design, I rather have the pipe going around the bottles and then stick the wooden base onto it that I will hold to. But I see many people that first put the bottles together and then stick the base to the bottles and then the pipe goes around the bottles and around the wooden or metallic base or whatever. Also here you can do whatever you want, but one thing I recommend is to go for the option that will give you the bigger circumference of the pipe while the pipe is wrapped up through the thing. Because if the bottle is too small or the overall circumference of the pipe while it's wrapped up it's too tight, let's say, it's too small, this will happen. And I try to fix it by putting a lot of zip ties around, so they it holds it tight and will basically fix the problem, but it's gonna end up looking horrible like this. So one thing I recommend is, if you cannot fix this problem, just get some other bottles, which is what I did. I get some new ones that look like this. So I'm pretty sure they're big enough to don't get me that trouble again. With the new bottles, I redid the whole thing. I put the bottles together, and this time they look huge. And then I wrap the, wrap the pipe around it. Oh yeah, the reason why I'm using two pipes, it's because, I'm not sure about this, maybe I'm making stuff up, but I do believe that if the pipe is smaller, or thinner, the gas travel faster, or at least it looks so. Like, I'm, I'm not sure, maybe it's just an illusion that it gives me, but I thought it would be cool to put one pipe inside of the other, so it goes from the big pipe to the tiny one. It kind of looks like the fireball speeds up, and I thought that will look cool, but I'm not sure what I'm doing, and I will discover if it's true or not once I tried. So that's what I did, and I also thought it would look cool if the fireball start to spin one way while going through the pipe and then turns in the other direction and spins in the, in the other direction. So hopefully I will get the fireball running through the big pipe, spinning in one direction and then switch, accelerate because it goes through the small pipe and spinning it in the other direction. Was that complicated? I think you got it. Anyway, I end up having something very heavy and very big, so I decided to use these pieces of wood and make like a shaft or something that I can hold to and I can attach the blue torch. And yeah, that's the next step. Just put a lot of hot glue on it, try to fix all the small problems by using zip ties, like to keep the pipe tight so it doesn't do this again. And then you connect one end of the pipe to the blue torch and the other one to the hole you previously made on the bottle. And yeah, I think that's about it. I'm talking like an, I'm an expert, but it's the first time I tried as well. I didn't try to fire it yet because I thought it would be better if I try on camera directly the first time. So yeah, now I'm gonna try to fire it for the first time and I just hope... I just hope it works. Uh, yeah, one more thing. If you're gonna do this, don't do it inside. Like, 
I'm gonna try this inside once by opening door and windows to let air flow, but don't do it inside because, especially if you live in a small place like I do, because basically you're, you're letting a lot of propane gas going out in a very small place and that's very dangerous. So don't do it, just do it outside, just try it outside. Or if you have a garage or whatever, is that how it's pronounced? If you have a garage or whatever, just try it there. But yeah, don't do it inside again. Yeah, so that being said, I'm gonna try inside now. Ooh, I just hope it doesn't blow up. All right, here we go. Three, two, Three, two, one. What the fuck? Yeah, okay, that was a fail. I think, I think the reason why it didn't work it's because, I don't know if you can see, the, it doesn't spark, it doesn't give the ignition. I had to, I have to pull the trigger like 10 times before something really happened. And it didn't really happen. So I tried to fix this problem and then we try again. It, yeah, it's not working and it's traveling super slow through the pipe. I'm gonna show you with the lights off. Oh, okay. I... I figured out what I was doing wrong. So when I was pulling the trigger, I started press here to release the gas and then press completely to make the ignition like this. But then, but then release it immediately because I thought that the gas inside was enough to make the fireball go through the whole thing. But if you keep pressing it, the extra gas that comes out pushes that fireball through the whole thing real quick. And yeah, that was it. So yeah, now if I press Holy shit, there's not even, like, it's, uh, what? <laughs> it's not even attached. This is why I'm saying you should do it outside. <laughs> All right, three, two, one. I was afraid of keep pressing. <laughs> three, two, one. Yeah, All right, maybe with the lights off. Overall, that was a success. I think it looks pretty awesome. I'm definitely gonna try some other designs to see which one is cooler and which one works best. And if you make one, let me know because I'm very curious to see how other people do it. And yes, thanks for watching. And now I'll leave you with some shots of it at night because it looks awesome. <laughs>